Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. In this series of videos, we're going to be taking a flat 2D illustration and converting it, modeling everything, and converting it to 3D, just like this. <clears throat> and so, in this first video, we're going to tackle and model the desk and all the stuff that's on it. And in the second video, we'll do the chair and then so on and so forth. So stick with me to the end of the series of videos and uh, we'll get this um, character animated. We'll get the whole scene set up and everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'd like to do is bring in the reference image and do our scene here. Uh, but I'm going to go to my front view by hitting number one so that the image lands right on the front view. I'm going to go to add image reference and my image is right here uh, image guy I um, mean computer guy <clears throat> load reference image and there he is and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just move him up um, I'm also going to click on the object data properties and turn on opacity and then bring it way down way way down I don't like to keep my images full blast because they're kind of distracting. So uh, <clears throat> also, I'm going to maybe move this image down just a little bit so that I can uh, hit the leg of the table uh, onto the floor and then make sure that it is centered. Um, it says that it's centered, but it really isn't. So let's let's go ahead and click on our um, cube our startup cube and I'm going to move it into here and this is how we can center the image check this out I am going to size it and then size it out I'm going to turn on x-ray here so that I can see through it and I'm going to size it a little bit further down and a little bit further this way and you can see that the image is not centered. So by clicking on the image, I think I can move the image over a little bit to about there, click back on the cube, and it'll be a little bit more sized, uh, more, more centered, I should say. So let's, uh, let's take it to there, hit tab, go to the edit mode, um, you can go to edit mode here as well. I'm going to grab the bottom uh, vertices and then I am going to size them. Hit S and then size them to about there. Uh, now, if you notice, this desk is a little bit long. It's not completely square. I don't want to make it too wide. I mean, wide, deep. Just a little bit more. And so let's push the this a little bit like that and then I'm going to grab only the bottom vertices and I am going to push them right to there and so if we go back to one the front view we're still okay and that's the top of our desk not a big problem uh, I am going to create the the legs now and uh, so I'm gonna go back to object mode hitting tab uh, shift a to create a mesh cube uh, size it size it I'm trying to size it about the size of that little square right there uh, hit the period to zoom in G to move size it and size it to about there G to grab and then Z. Ooh, look at that, perfect. Tab to go to uh, edit mode, select the bottom ones just like we did the last time. S to scale, boom, there it is. So we've got that little um, base for the leg done. Let's go ahead and create the actual leg. The actual leg, we're gonna do Shift A and create a cylinder. This cylinder, S to scale, G to move, P 
period to zoom in. Uh, I'm gonna G to move it. Well, I want it centered. So S to scale. G, Z, and then grab all of these vertices and let's move it down right to there and then let's size it. Uh, S to size and then more or less S uh, to about that size, that width right there. And then move, move them to there. And we've got one leg complete. Now, I'm going to go to object mode like that. And I am also going to move this whole leg to the corner here to right about there. If I go to the front view, it's it's there. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do, uh, I forgot to move this to the back. I just don't want it messing with my stuff here. And so there's that one leg. I'm gonna select it, go to the modifiers and add a mirror modifier. And there is it, there it is, um, mirror object. The center shall be, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and select the tabletop. Boom. And so there it is mirrored on the X and I also want it mirrored in the Y. Boom. There it is. Um, I, like, I like that, but one more thing. One more thing. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put it in a little bit further inside and then I'm going to do something. I'm going to go to edit mode tab. And then I'm going to go to the top view and then I'm going to push it to the corner like that. And so that just looks a lot better with the legs sticking out like that. Boom. We've got our desk, guys. Not a big deal. Let's continue working. Let's uh, let's model this cup up here. And so let's go to the front view. Zoom in to that cup. All it is, it's a cylinder. And so let's create a cylinder. Shift A. Cylinder. Let's move it to here. Let's size it. S to size. And zoom in. I'm going to push it to here. And then tap. Select these. Move it to the bottom. S to scale these move, move them up to the top S to scale and then let's build another one I am going to go to object mode select this cylinder and shift D to duplicate and then right click to undo the move and then push it up to where the center of the cup uh, the top, the lid, and go to object, push it down, S, and then grab this one, push it uh, to the top like this, and then hit S. Basically, that's all you need to do. Um, go back to object mode, select this one, shift D to duplicate, and then right click to undo that move tab and select the bot the top here and then we're going to build that uh, little cardboard uh, handle whatever thing little thing so you don't burn your fingers i'm going to hit s because i don't want it that thick grab this one push it up grab hit s and I think we're done uh, let's turn off um, and there it is I mean it's simple that is all we need um, let's move on guys let's model uh, this CEO plate let's see how that turns out here's what I'm gonna do I am going to shift a create a cube and this cube I'm gonna move it up here size it to about the size of that plaque, that little nameplate. And 
hit tab. I'm going to move these. Size them. Well, yeah, size them. Hit S and then X to size about to there. Grab these, push them up to about there. Uh, and then three. Of course, it's way too, too big this way. Um, I know that it's, you know, relatively thin. Let's do that. It's a thin little plate. Just like that. And we are going to round off these corners. Um, let's go to um, edge mode. Let's select that corner and that corner. And let's do, let's go to front view. Let's go, let's do um, command B to bevel. And to there. Easy peasy. <clears throat> what we're going to do next is I'm going to go to face mode. Select this face here. I said select this face there and inset it. I for inset and then push it in just like this. Not a big deal. And I'm going to size it S in the X just a little bit like that and then I'm gonna move it uh, G Z up a little just to make it fit the reference image and that's it uh, oh no 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 that's not it I'm gonna push it in I'm gonna do command E to extrude and then I'm, I'm gonna push it in just like that but just barely I just want a little bit of a of a mm, faceplate and then over here in the back I want to do I want to do kind of the same thing with it whoops, with this <clears throat> I'm gonna do I kind of the same thing and then move up like this but I only want it because I want to grab this face and I want to extrude it out. Uh, kind of like a, a little mm, stand. So E and then push it out mm, like that. It's not a big deal. I just want to give it a little bit of a stand. This is where it sits. So um, next we're going to do the letters CEO. Add. Oops, I'm gonna hit tab. It's gonna. We're gonna hit add. Text and the text, uh, unfortunately, is way down here. And we're just gonna type. Uh, go to tab mode. We're just gonna type CEO. CEO. It's not the same font, but we'll just keep it like that. Um, let me go ahead and. Hit tab and let's zoom in on it. Let me go ahead and add a, a little bit of a an extrusion. Here I'm in the font and the object properties. And here's the font, the shape, the geometry, the extrusion a little bit that's it that's all I'm gonna do to it uh, I don't need to get fancy and object convert to mesh Boom! there it is and so I'm gonna move it up move it back in place size it there there oh in fact I like mine better 
CEO. Boom, right there. Uh, let me see if it's uh, turn off. This it's a little it makes it a little hard to see. Right there, I just put it right inside, and there it is. CEO, not a bad deal. Now you might be wondering, like, why did I leave these all looking flat shaded like that? Uh, we don't have to. We can smooth shade. Uh, and then it looks all weird, but then we could uh, just turn on um, Auto Smooth for all these parts. Auto Smooth and Auto Smooth, and there it is. We could do that same for the legs also. Um, just go Smooth Shade and then Auto Smooth. And there, there we have it. Cool, we've got a couple items built. Let's uh, continue maybe with the plant here. And so we're gonna do a cylinder. No big surprise. Cylinder. And let's move this here. Size it. Uh, to about the size of this. Not a big deal. I'm gonna put this in the center tab. I'm gonna turn on uh, X-ray. And then I'm going to go to um, vertex mode. I'm going to push these vertices over to here. And then I am going to do command R. And just one. And then I'm going to move it to here. And then size this. And then what I'd like to do is maybe hit command B to... Um, bevel it I think I've got too many right, right about there I just don't want to make it too complicated and then hit S to scale and then even this I'm going to try to hit command B to scale I mean to bevel there and then this hit command B to bevel just a little bit and then make it a little less complicated right to there boom and so we've got our pot uh, and I noticed that it's got a little thing here so what I'd like to do is maybe grab one of these rows and just inset it I'm gonna grab these two rows of faces and then hit inset I just to make another row right there and then um, go to the top view, hit, uh, instead of just E to extrude, uh, option E to extrude on, um, along normals. And what I want to do is push it in, just like this, see? But just a little bit like that. And see what I've done here is just a little bit of an of a indentation. I think I may have gone a little too far. Uh, if I go S and then maybe scale them down just a little bit right to there. That's it. And that's it. That's our pot. If you want to get technical and you want to uh, actually push this down, you can go ahead and hit E and then push it down just so we can have like a hole there. Uh, and let's start modeling the leaves. Hey guys, we're going to stop it right there for now. Uh, on the next video, we'll pick up right here. Uh, we'll continue with the plant and we'll build the laptop, the books, and the paper. And we'll be done with this desk. Hey, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys like the series. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.